day and another kit I have here to put on a strife to play strifey dress up because uh, that's what I've reduced my life to. But there's a lot of parts out there and it is kind of fun to see which ones are really good and which ones look good with whatever parts and stuff like that. And I'm amassing quite the little collection, so might as well do that thing where I take a strife and I put parts on and I see what other parts look good with it and then have you guys give me suggestions on how to run this stuff because uh, I have a lot of strife parts and if uh, for some reason you're just now joining us, this is the strife and the parts I have here are meant specifically for this blaster. I'm not saying you're gonna put them on something else with a little bit of uh, cutting and epoxy putty and glue and stuff like that, but they are specifically meant for this blaster and that's one of the cool things about a strife is that uh, it has literally a few hundred different little parts that you could put on it. Most of them are all 3D printed and stuff. Some are actually injection molded and well, things can get really interesting, but we have a strife and we have here what looks to be the front of, I believe an MP5K. I'm sure no matter what firearm I say down in the comment section, somebody will tell me I'm wrong and I don't really care anymore. So yeah, you ruined that one. But this is an injection molded piece right here that fits into the front of the strife like so. And then this piece slides on there like that. And um, that's about all it does. It does come with some other pieces and this is a relatively cheap little setup, but it is just mainly the foregrip and front barrel kind of thing. The beautiful top fill in pieces, not the ones for the side, unfortunately, although I think I have a few kicking around I could use, but the top fill in piece right here, which uh, fills in this spot right here, which I hate, I think this is dumb, but I think these are worse, so. We'll have to fix that, but that right there, we got a short rail here. I'm actually uh, not even certain if it came with this kit or not. I just had it here. And we also have this very long top rail right here, which I assume will kind of mesh up like this, which I think will make the thing look uh, relatively squared off. So this may be somewhat interesting, but there is no stock or anything. So I'm gonna have to come up with a stock for it. And if I do have this on, I don't think, even if I do have that on, it doesn't cover the entire top of the blaster, so I don't know. But first things first, we have a new strafe here, and I'm going to have to open it up and uh, shove some stuff onto it. I mean, this will replace this front under barrel rail right here, which means that you can't put anything like a vector kit that would require this rail right there and any kind of other foregrips or anything. But since it has a built-in foregrip, I don't know why you would complain about that, unless you just like complaining like me. So let's get started. I have taken apart so many stripes now and it is ridiculous. So we're going to remove that piece right there and we're going to remove this whole piece right here, which uh, I guess in this case is going to require us to remove the flywheel cage for a moment. All right, now we're gonna take this and this should fit pretty much right where that piece used to be. Kind of like that. And then that just mashes up perfectly right there and you can still fit a barrel material in there, which we will probably do seeing how this didn't come with any kind of barrel material on it. Oh hey, this actually had batteries still in it, sweet. So now that that piece is installed, there are more than a few of these barrel material things that you can buy. Now that this piece is installed, there are more than a few barrels that will use this. So we'll probably just keep this strife like this from now on so we can utilize barrels like this without having to worry too much. But these do have spots for screws in them, but it is going to lock on just like that. You can see what's going on. Holy crap, that looks good. Well, let's put this on so we can kind of see how well that, yeah, that does square it off pretty good. So that is like that. And then this piece, which is nicely packaged for being a 3D printed part, it does have a grub screw right there, is, how does this go on? I assume like this. Yep, goes on just like that kind of clips in right there, goes back there. It looks like it has 
lots more screw places. I wonder if any of those can be used for, like, tapping in some kind of optic, because that's the thing we're missing at the moment, is if we put this on, it does make the thing look a lot cooler, but it also removes any chance we have of putting an optic on it. So I messed up, because uh, this piece right here does go to this kit. This is a rear aperture, and then the front piece obviously has the front sight. And, wow, this looks weird. This is supposed to be a rear? I guess it does have like a peephole. But yeah, that's supposed to go right there. Yeah, there's only one way that can, right? Oh, that should have been put on before. Okay, anyway, but uh, that being said, there is supposed to be a rail there. Just imagine a rail like that, that does come with the kit. But I am, of course, going to have to pull this apart now so I can put this optic on because this needs to be screwed on before anything else. So back in a bit. Perfect. That should go on just like that. This should go on, pull that back a little bit. There we go. And then that should slide forward and lock into place. And that goes like that. Back off these screws a little bit. All right, there we go. That is the complete kit right there, minus that one thing. It doesn't come with things to fill in the side, so I'm gonna use my own here and fill in. There are supposed to be rails that go on there, but I'm never gonna mount anything to the side of my strife like that, so I'm just gonna go in for the filling piece right there. And that's, that's pretty good right there. The uh, print quality as usual with Worker, very high resolution. You can still tell it's 3D printed, especially with parts up here where you can see it, you know, is a little bit more rough where they remove support material, but like the grip and everything is just amazing. Very, very sturdy. I mean, I'm assuming if you really tried, you could snap this grip off because that's a lot of leverage, but should be pretty good and it's very, very comfortable, which is important, but this is all you get with this particular set. So we're gonna have to do something like uh, add a stock to it to make it more like a MP5 kind of thing. There we go. That's looking pretty good, but it needs some kind of barrel. And I'm kind of thinking of using this suppressor looking thing. But do I have a shorter barrel than this? Cause I don't know if I want to use this well, maybe I do want to use this. If I back off this screw a little bit in here, and if I can find the stock in the barrel on worker kit, because these are things I already owned, I will put a link to it down in the description. Well, hey, maybe I can get quite a bit in there. So we just go kind of like that. Seems like it. A little kind of, I thought this would look a lot better, but I don't know, it looks kind of, kind of interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know if that looks any better. Well, this is a tough one. Maybe if I have that come out a little bit. Like, let's put that all the way back. I'm not certain. I mean, this is squarely, like, I know it's supposed to be like a short SMG kind of thing, but in this configuration, it is most definitely a long, long rifle. This is, uh, this is huge. This is about as big as that SCAR kit now, which is pretty impressive, but it is very comfortable. And yeah, that, this piece right here, it looks like it turns and moves, it doesn't. It's just one piece of plastic. And the bridge quality on this site is uh, left a lot to be desired. It's definitely rougher compared to the rest of it. This rail right here is very good. This foregrip is very good. But this uh, piece right there is not good. All right, time for my conclusions. The kit itself is relatively cheap, but it does come with very few parts. It does come with just the barrel material and then the foregrip barrel shroud and then the long, very thin rail on the top that blocks your jam door, the small optic in the rear, and the fill-in piece for just the top, not the ones for the sides, which I would think is almost mandatory. 
but it is really inexpensive compared to other 3D printed kits from Worker. So for that, if you like this kind of look, I can definitely recommend it because it does seem really up to snuff. And combination wise, if you had the folding stock that was similar to this, I would rather use that because this thing is entirely too long, but it is very comfortable. As always, this is a really, really nice stock and the barrel, I don't know about this one. Suppressors are always gonna be kind of long, but if you have one of just the short, kind of toothy suppressors, maybe use that instead because this is really long, but I never get a chance to show off this barrel enough, so I want to put it on here and yeah, maybe the full rifle-sized mag's not the option. If you can get the hammerhead kit, which lets you shoot short darts out of a strife at full auto, this would look a lot better with like one of the katana mags in it, for sure, because this is just, this is kind of goofy looking. But at the same time, I like how this is so flush with the rest of it. In fact, I really don't like the fact that the stock here doesn't come up enough to blend that together. It's slightly under it for some reason. And I don't know if these things have particular stocks. Like I said, I just got this kit the way it is. But if you look at workerkit.com, who did send this whole kit to me to do this video on, and there will be a link to buy it down in the description below, and you see another kit that you would like for me to do a video on, and most importantly, do a combination video with, you want to see what it looks like with X piece that you know I have, then leave that comment down in the description below because, uh, I'm kind of running out of ideas for this kind of stuff, but yeah, this is kind of cool. It's very comfortable. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think about this kit down in the description below. I'm always curious to know if you guys think this kind of stuff is worth it. It is kind of expensive, but to give yourself something that makes your strife look completely unique, I mean, there are so many parts out there you can kind of build and match whatever, whatever blaster you would want. This might be worth it to some people, and maybe it's not. Maybe you think it's entirely overpriced. I'd love to get your feedback on it, because I think these things are pretty cool. But that is, of course, my opinion. Otherwise, this has been Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up,